Shall we play a little pickleball? You wanna? Let's do it. <laughs> Boom. Just hours before the Golden Bachelor makes his big debut, I invited the strikingly handsome Gary Turner, a 72-year-old widower and proud girl dad, for a game of serious pickleball. Pickleball is sweeping the nation. And of course, a courtside chat. You are extra handsome. The Golden Bachelor is handsome. You're such a sweet talker. Gary with a great shot, and the Bushman drops one. Oh, and I'm pretty sure our match today is going to go over very well with the Golden Girls. I love to play pickleball. I like to play pickleball. 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 I love pickleball. Everyone is there for the right reason. They're there really for the genuine hope of finding love. And that's why, I mean, I fell in love with that group so hard right from the get-go because they were genuine. And I knew they were there for that and they were elegant and poised and educated. They were just a wonderful group. These women are beautiful. Some of the comments that you'd see online were hilarious about, are they gonna set this guy up with 30-something women? And it's like, do I need anything but age-appropriate women when they're that beautiful oh. and that composed? It's like, no. They were like the perfect representation of our generation. Do you believe I'm looking for a love adventure with a cherry on top. Are we fantasy sweeting here on The Golden Bachelors? They're f sure, sure. There was <laughs> but you know, at our age, <laughs> fantasy suites are a little bit different. Yeah, okay, good. <laughs> at least for me. I'll just speak for myself. Um, you know, the priority is more an emotional connection, uh, more of an intellectual connection. And it's the first time in that whole process that you get to speak to someone without a microphone and without a camera. I couldn't wait to get behind closed doors to really learn about the person, ask the hard questions. In your 30s, it's, it's, I think it's lust, and in your 70s, I think it's love. So in your 30s, you're maybe thinking about the fantasy suites for a different purpose yeah. than when you're 70. By the way, you're wrong. Some of them were there for lust. There was a few lust-worthy ones who was like, I can't wait to rip Gary apart. And I'm like, oh my god, run, Gary! <laughs> I've been ready for a long time. The beauty of this episode, and obviously this season, is your emotions are totally on display. She passed away on July 15th. Talking about losing your wife and your childhood sweetheart for 43 years of marriage, the overwhelming emotion that still comes up just says, wow, this man is wired the right way. So the very first time I told that story to ABC was, was at my own house, and I choked up and couldn't finish. I had to leave the room. And, it, you know, I was really sobbing hard because saying those things out loud, it's, it's different than carrying it around silently. When you, when you actually hear the story and you release, you know, what you've been feeling, it's, it's awful. It is. And in a very, I think, cathartic way, it's gotten better because I've been forced to talk about it a little bit. Right. And it's 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 gotten to the point where like, it's yes. For what it was an amazing more of a celebration right. rather than something of sorrow. Do you feel the spiritual support of your wife in any way? Like, go ahead, Gary, go. You've you've mourned in a beautiful and respectful way. It's your time. Absolutely. Um, Great. We had conversations before she passed, and long before she passed, we wanted the other person to be happy when after one of us leaves. So. It, it did take me a long time to really come to grips with that, a couple of years of grieving. And, and, but yeah, after that, it's like, yeah, I know she'd want me to do this. I'm going to meet the woman of my dreams very shortly. You looked so excited on the arrival. Wow. You know, and I looked forward to that night for months. I'm so excited to be here. It's like Christmas 22 times all in a row. And they had a good time throughout the entire journey. I mean, the whole time they were supportive of each other. They were helping each other with jewelry and yeah. makeup and everything. It's like, yeah, they were like sorority girls. Listen, the retired restaurateur who's worth over a million bucks has won the hearts of America and fellow restaurateurs around town. Three landmarks in Los Angeles are getting excited for your debut. Randy's Donuts, Pink's Hot Dogs is Golden Hot Dogs, uh, Mel's Diner. Mel's Diner, I was You're there. all over town. Let the games begin. But did it work? 
I will say this. Are you sharing a spot Any, in Iowa? Anyone who is in the lead in, in that franchise, if they give themselves up to the process and they're open, they will not be disappointed. You re you're ready. Yeah, I am. I am. Look at the smile. Oh, something's <laughs> happened. Look at the smile on Gary's face. This is so great. And so was oh, our yeah. doubles match until it wasn't. There's the drop. Nice pickup. Oh! <laughs> Don't forget to watch The Golden Bachelor tonight on ABC.